Okay, it's recording. Sorry, I, I wasn't sure before. Um, so this is the uh, uh, 110 AB conversion that I've been working on. Um, it's aesthetically in really bad shape right now because I still need to get um, some other stuff to cover the sides. And um, what I ideally want to do is actually do a handle on this side. Um, kind of like what I've seen for um, the Mamiya press cameras and the Polaroid 600 SE. Um, you can see that one of the things that I did that was sort of unusual with my version is usually um, they leave the this side of the roller container on, on the side. I decided to cut it off um, because I thought it was heavy and I thought I could replace it with something nicer like uh, wood, something that I could really grip. Um, so I took that off. Uh, the other thing was when I purchased um, the viewfinder, I w I'm doing the hybrid project, so um, I had to get a 900, Polaroid 900 viewfinder. That's what's on top here. Um, but I didn't, uh, they didn't include the um, actual like cover, so hopefully that's coming too, or I might figure out some other way to replace it. Anyway, so I have tried my best to set it to infinity and correct any light leaks, so I'm hoping that it is going to work. Um, I have loaded some flat pack, uh, so you can see the leather and the wood that I'm working with right now. Um, so I've loaded some 3000 um, flat pack Fuji. Um, so I'm basically just going to take a light reading and give it a shot. Um, I've never used this particular lens before. Um, but it looks fairly straightforward. So yeah. Anyway, I've got a Luna Pro F uh, light meter. That's what I use um, in my house and also for flash work. Um, oh, hang on, let's say it's over the bottom. So okay. Alrighty. So the maximum aperture is four point seven, um, and I think I'm gonna stop down a little just because I can't be absolutely sure about my focus. Um, so let's just see if I can get that to work. I'm gonna try, oh, it's fucking dark in here. Uh, all right, that's a little better. So I'm gonna try, the maximum um, speed for the camera is 300, one three hundredth of a second. Um, I'm gonna try it at uh, 125 right now, and um, F8, I'll show you on the side here. It's a it's quite a nice lens. It reminds me a lot of um, large format lenses I've used. I'm gonna try to get it up here where you can kind of see it. Okay, see. So on the top there is the film speeds and then or the the shutter speeds. Excuse me. You see it also has B, um, which is great that holds the shutter open. There's a few flash options too on the side, but that'll be a topic for when I know the camera actually works. Um, and then the f stop at the bottom here. So. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to give it a shot, I guess. Um, I'm going to focus to three feet, and we'll see what we actually get out of it. Uh, and of course, I'm curious to see um, whether my focus works at all. It's kind of hard to know. But, uh... All right, so the shutter um, works like this on the side. Totally mechanical shutter. It's great. Um, and you can hold it this way for the picture like this. So I'm going to just try um, the setting here. All right, so <laughs> I guess we'll see. All right. Oh, I love that sound. Okay, so um, black and white develops fairly quickly, um, except I keep mine in the fridge, so it develops slightly slower. But we're waiting um, about 20 seconds. Um, yeah, this project is not for the uh, uh, <laughs> not for the absolute beginner. I would say it, it's been really tough, and um, it definitely stretched uh, the tools I had available. And if I had known what a pain in the ass it would be to um, saw through the metal, I might not have done both sides. But um, I decided it was really uh, important for me to get rid of as much excess weight as I could um, because in general this is one of the most pocketable um, Polaroid cameras that is at this quality that you can do. So, son of a bitch! Alright, 
I got a fucking picture. Sweet. Um, I can see what looks like possibly some light leaks, um, which I'm going to have to work on. It looks like the focus is correct according to what I thought it would be. Here's a picture of my bed. Very interesting. You can see some of it is in focus here. And the shutter looks about good. I probably actually would have let this develop maybe slightly longer, but I can see... Oh, it's darkening even more now. Um, I can also see there's a lot of in a lot of information on the negative, so it's looking pretty good. Um, so yeah, I mean, wonderfully, my camera does work. I have to figure out where these light leaks are coming from. I have... There are some suspects. <laughs> um, I would say that one of the hardest parts of this project was um, trying to fix all the light leaks. Um, I can't open it up right now to show you um, just how many little cracks and crevices there are, but what I'm hoping is um, uh, I'm going to get some more um, Bondo. Uh, I was also using uh, plutter, uh, Plumber's um, Putty or Epoxy. Um, yeah, Plutter's uh, <laughs> Plumber's Epoxy, um, but it dries a lot slower, and it's a little bit grainier, and I don't really like the... Um, consistency of it as much so yeah um next steps are going to be to try to do a little bit more with the aesthetics obviously and um try to fix all these light leaks but i'm happy to report that i was able to make a functioning camera thank goodness um so finally the um uh, what I've spent so far is, um, and let me put it in perspective, uh, these cameras, like the ones sold by William Lippmann or on Option 8 on eBay, um, you can look those up because they do way more beautiful cameras than this um, uh, beautiful Frankenstein. Um, they go for anywhere from $2,000 to down to $700 or $600. I've never seen them under that, um, which is kind of crazy when you think about that uh, a Polaroid 600 SE with a lens, with a, a Mamiya Secor lens, I have seen them go on eBay for $500 to $600. And obviously having interchangeable lenses on a Polaroid is awesome, and the Mamiya lenses are really great too. Um, so my, my primary, I mean, my primary thing was cost. I didn't want to spend that much, and I had a feeling I could build this for as cheap as I have built it. Um, but the other, the other thing that I think is awesome is that... Um, with this camera, it is basically the most pocketable, um, uh, like quality Polaroid that you can get. I mean, I don't, I'm not aware of anything that's superior to this. Um, so anyway, so you can fold the bellows down in. If you're familiar with large format cameras, you probably know exactly what this is like. Push these in. <clears throat> Mine are a little sticky. You got some dust in there. And then you've got the whole camera right here. Like I said, um, most people leave um, the other half shell here on the side, um, uh, which makes sense because you can see how the viewfinder will cover it. Blah, 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 blah. But I decided to cut it off, and um, I hope to find like a nice piece of driftwood or something that I can um, uh, sand down or varnish or something to kind of match the leather I have going on. Um, you can see here's another issue that that's going on here. Um, I I think I have to cut the leather down or sand it down or something because it keeps just jamming into the space there. There's just not enough space. Um, anyway, so I'll give you another update when I am um, when I've made another like I don't know advancement <laughs> of some of some regard. Um, uh, but if you have any questions about the process that I've gone through or um, would like to be regaled with the nightmares of uh, camera production, because there are many, uh, let me know. Oh, and I got sidetracked. I meant to say that uh, I've spent probably, uh, I would think, about $200 at this point, maybe slightly more, and that's because I had to buy some tools. If you already have tools available to you, um, you can you can do it definitely, I would say, 100 to $150. It really, it, it highly depends on... The, the most expensive part is just getting the 110A or 110B uh, lens. So that's that's your most expensive component. Otherwise, everything's pretty cheap on eBay. Uh, all right.